So, hi. hi! For those of you that did not watch my previous video, go and watch it! There was some info in that video that is crucial to this video. Number one, I've had a lot of birds in the past. Number two, I'm a dog trainer. Those two little tidbits from my last video are important to this one. So now you don't actually have to go watch it. Congratulations. So basically, since I've had a lot of birds in the past, you would think that I would know how to train a bird, but I've never actually trained a bird. I'm a dog trainer, so I'm very familiar with uh, methods of dog training. But since I've got Domino, I've been researching methods to train birds. In other videos, they don't specify what to use as a reward. One of my main questions was, what is the motivator? Food is always a great motivator. For dogs, it's easy. No dog is gonna turn down some chicken or a hot dog or some cheese. What I use as a bird treat, it's actually cockatiel seed mix because Boo Boo's on a special diet because he's a little bit overweight. So I had all these seeds left over. And as you can see, I just put them in a Tupperware-like container and um, when he does a trick, he gets to pick out what his treat is. To my surprise, being a dog trainer, um, I discovered that a lot of people are actually clicker training their parrots, which I thought was a little bit weird. So basically with bird training, they suggest that you use a chopstick and a clicker, and you want to hold them in the same hand like so. And then you have the bird touch it, and he touches it, you click, and give him a seed. So domino target, and click. Good bird! This is helpful if you want to teach the step up cue. You do it by putting it here, so that way they have to stand on your finger in order to get it. Clever training is helpful because it bridges the gap between animals and humans. It lets the animal know what action they are specifically getting a treat for. For Domino specifically, I don't really think it's necessary since he's already pretty hand tame as you can see. I just feel like I don't have enough hands with it. Um, they work great for Ruger. So what I've been working on with Domino and how I've been training him is honestly just with my fingers. He's the easiest animal that I've ever trained. So a couple things we've been working on are domino kiss, turn, good bird. Um, he also knows bang and then he rolls over. So first off with step up is you just stick your hand under them and say step up, good bird. And if they don't do it, um, you can kind of press on their breastbone a little bit. Um, just right here. So basically how I taught him how to give kisses is, um, for me it was really easy because I already have a lip ring which is really interesting to birds so they naturally just reach out and try to grab it. Um, so when he did that I would just slightly turn so that way he would touch my lip instead. For the turn we just did, I just took my finger and touched his tail feathers and he naturally did it. The bird! And then I just give him the verbal cue. The way I train is Positive reinforcement only, meaning I do not use any sort of punishment. I'm also a fan of the capturing method, which is basically where you wait until the animal does what you want them to do and then you treat them for it. The reason why is because I like to train natural behaviors to fit my lifestyle rather than the other way around. The whole reason I got Domino is because he flipped over and I thought it was the cutest thing. So that was again already a natural thing of his that he did. So to teach him that, um, I, he had to get comfortable with me first on the floor and then um, I would help him flip over and then do the actual cue bang and then give him a treat. It took a, about an hour honestly. <laughs> Like I said, he's the easiest animal I've trained thus far. I'm thinking it's just that he's very smart. I do not at all attribute that to my training skills. I'm not a bad trainer. I just don't have as much experience as other people do because I haven't been doing it that long. That's my training video. Sorta. Of. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions for videos, whatever, just, you know, leave a comment down below or message me. And of course, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more driving videos and videos of my animals. So, thanks for watching. Does my hair look like that the whole time?